bodies. You do it for yourself and you can use it at any time that you require it for all different manner of things. We use these three fingers because there's actually a, a meridian point in the end of this finger, which can, and all your energy meridians connect to um, your organs in your body and your energetic body as well. So um, that oh screen hopped a little bit. Um, so and we use these three fingers apart from. Um, a couple of places where it's either too difficult or it might be a bit easier to um, hit that acupressure point um, in a different way rather than be the, the fingers. Okay, is everybody with me so far? Yes. Fab. Okay, so the points are, we go here first, which is the chopping point. Okay, so you just, it's, it's where you would karate chop, you use these, the, the three fingers um, and, and tap here. And what we do is we, um, when we come to it, you will repeat affirmational phrases with me. Um, and it, this, when we start here, it basically um, allows you to acknowledge whatever it is that we're doing the tapping for. Okay, and we always start here. And we repeat the phrase um, three times here. All right, and the next place that we go to then is just above the eyebrow here. So you can use the, so you just tap there. And again, you will repeat after me, either out loud or in your head. Um, obviously, it's always better, as with anything that you affirm, if you say it out loud, um, it's got, it just holds a little bit more power, really. So um, th this is the place that we go to next. Then we're at the side of the eye. So not quite the temple, just at the, the other end of your eyebrow. Um, it's the easiest way to describe it because obviously we're all, we've all got different eyebrows and different positions on our body. So um, we go there next. Then we go under the eye. Now anywhere that you can use two hands, you can. So you can use two hands here. You can use two hands at, at, um, um, on the um, outside of the eyebrow. Okay, so the next one is under the eye. Then we do our moustache <laughs> or, or um, under the nose. Okay, so there, then we do chin. Your real chin, not any extra ones. <laughs> okay, then we do collarbone. So it's just the little sort of squishy bit just underneath. I'm sure that's probably got a technical name that our girls could probably tell you, but um, it's just that little spongy bit there for, for those of us who don't know the name for it under there. And then the, the next place we go to is under the arm. When I work with children, we, we, we call this the monkey section because we go under the arm, which is easier to pat because of our boobs. <laughs> so we pat away or if you prefer you can tap about where your bra line is with those three fingers again okay and then the last one which is why we call it the well when i'm working with the kids i call it the monkey one is because we make a little spider and go in a circle on the top of the head okay so we do that that obviously is monkey pose so it just helps you remember under the arm and then all monkey top of the head Okay, you can do it um, with your eyes closed if you want to, if you want to feel into, into what you're doing um, and just be in your own space without have, um, following me, you can. Or you can obviously open your eyes. What I, I will tell you which point that we're going to next if, so that if you have got your eyes closed, um, that um, you can he hear the direction of where we're gonna go next. All right, so is everybody okay? Give us a thumbs up. If you put your put yourselves on mute, so that if you are saying your affirmations nice and loud, you can um, you can say them to yourself, and everybody else is going to can focus on what they're doing. Lynn, can you put yourself on mute? There, brilliant, fantastic. Thanks so much. Okay, so we just start by taking a deep breath right down into your tummy, and just. Focus into your own body in your own space. This is your time now. And a couple of nice deep breaths right down into your tummy. Okay. Any, just notice any anxiety or any feelings at all, any stress, 
any um, any feelings of I've got to do this, I've got to do that. We're, we're, this is going to be on um, empower, you know, empowerment today, um, and helping us get into a, a really good um, doing space, but that is right for us. So just noticing your body as you're breathing, anywhere that may feel a little bit uncomfortable or um, or blocked, or where you may be feeling a little bit challenged in your body, or if anything, any. Um, pictures come to your mind or anything like that just notice it for yourself in your own in your own body okay and then just close your eyes for a second and focus in on that feeling or that thought or whatever it is that is coming up for you and give it um, a number from zero to ten of how intense that is for you and we do this just as a guide so that we know whether the EFT is helping us reduce that feeling. Okay. So keep breathing in, into that feeling in your body. And just make a note for yourself of what that number is for you. And where that feeling or thought or... Um, anxiety, stress, any, anything, any of that, anything that's coming up for you, where are you feeling it in your body? Okay, a big deep breath. And we're gonna start with our chopping point. Okay. So we say, just repeat after me, even though a part of me is doubting myself, And part of me is 100% sure that I can achieve my goals. I choose to acknowledge both parts of me. Even though sometimes I stay stuck because of all the self-doubt I'm willing to look at it in a new way. Even though doubting myself keeps me safe and happy, I'm open to new possibility of shifting from self-doubt to self-empowerment. Okay, now we're going to the eyebrow. Because I doubt myself, side of the eye, I lack the motivation to do the things in my list. Under the eye, so I end up procrastinating. under the nose or moustache. As long as I'm procrastinating, I'm in a safe place. Chin. I don't have to risk completing my projects. Collarbone. Then I'll have nothing to be judged or criticised for. Under the arm, I don't have to put myself through a self-evaluation process. Top of the head, I can stay in my comfort zone. And back to the eyebrow, inside of the eye. I'm open to changing this right now by stepping into transformation. Side of the eye, I'm releasing myself from this vicious cycle of fear, self-doubt and procrastination. Under the eye, I choose to free myself from overwhelm that is stuck in my energy body.
under the nose or moustache. I choose to reassure myself that with the support of source energy, anything and everything is possible. Chin. I'm open to receiving infinite possibilities in the form of guidance, inspiring ideas and motivational messages. Collarbone. I'm releasing old patterns of thinking and behaviour right now. I'm feeling so much better already. Under the arm. Every day, in every way, I feel empowered to achieve my goals. Top of the head. Every day, in every way, I'm moving towards achieving my dreams. Okay, and a big deep breath. Okay, now just check back in with yourself from the number that you started with and the position of where you had anything stuck in your body. And just really relax down for a minute. As you, as you do that breathe in, relax your body down. There's still a little bit of tension that I'm sensing there. Just relax, you're safe. Just bring your hands to your heart. Okay, and you stay in that moment with yourself for a minute. Breathe down into your tummy. Now, sometimes what happens when we do tapping is we can yawn. Sometimes we might feel tearful and emotional. Sometimes we may just feel a release. Anything that happens for you is absolutely perfect. Crying is a release, yawning is a release, and it's not often that we take the time to just be us in our own space and acknowledge the things that are coming up for us. You're safe in this space now, anything that's coming up for you is absolutely fine. Feel into that space in your body. Breathe down into your tummy. And just with your hands on your heart now, say, I love you. You can say it out loud or in your head. I love you. I am worthy. I am supported. I am safe. It is safe for me to just be me. empowered, strong, beautiful, unique in every way. I am open to receive. I love you. And big deep breath and relax down 
blow all of those cares away. Okay. I can I can all see you. I think you might just be able to see me. So if you can, if you're okay, give us a thumbs up. 